Yo guys, what's going on? I just wanted to talk about ArenaNet and Guild Wars 2. If you haven't played Guild Wars 2, definitely suggest you play it. And if you haven't even heard about any of the PvP tournaments going on, I definitely suggest you go kind of look some of those up, because uh, they're pretty exciting, I think. Honestly, I'm, I'm kind of a fan of Guild Wars 2, and I'm really glad that ArenaNet has been taking a new focus on the PvP aspect, or at least they're trying to uh, promote it like never before. They're changing up a whole bunch of things, the meta, they're updating the game, making things a little bit more fluid, I think. Uh, gameplay wise uh, they're trying to you know make it more fair patching things stuff like that whatever but they're also having new tournaments all over the place and it seems like they're just really kind of focusing on it and I'm just really excited anyway so this video is gonna be talking about one of the changes that they're doing which they just announced this and I'm really really excited for this but they are making it so that you can actually uh, have different classes on the enemy team standardized so engineers are all gonna look the same uh, whatever uh, warriors are all gonna look the same they're still gonna have the same archetype I would imagine that they're gonna have female and male but then other than that they're gonna be having the same clothing the same colors so that you can better differentiate different abilities going off and this is really really important because so many people either are just Norns or Surns you're a Norn because you just want to be a pub stomper and you just want to look awesome or you're in a Surin because you're kind of hardcore and you don't want anybody seeing any of your moves this is a big problem because so many players play a Surin because it's really hard to identify any of their abilities so if, if they're if they're doing an ability, maybe it's even a slow, and it should be a telltale ability. Like you should be able to see clearly what it is, so that you could dodge it. Being in a CERN, you're so small, and the spell effects are so big, which is kind of why I chose the footage that you're watching. It's pretty hard to actually tell what's going on, even though I am a human. Uh, there's just so many spells and effects going on. And basically, I'm just looking at the ground, spamming abilities. Let's be honest here. Um, with the CERNs, it's even worse. You can't see what they're doing whatsoever, and it's really hard to play against it. There's very very little counterplay to it. You're supposed to be able to see the signs of a big attack coming and then counter it, dodge it, whatever. Um, so, they're changing it. So now all classes are, can be standardized between humans, um, probably male and female, and then they're gonna have different colors and different costumes so that they look the part. They said that they're gonna try to match the archetype of what they would imagine. So I would imagine that an engineer is probably gonna be leatherish and they're gonna have gears and everything. It's not gonna be like some holographic armor or anything. A warrior is probably gonna still be plate, but probably a little bit lighter looking than guardian. You know, stuff like that. It's gonna look archetypal and, uh, but that's just gonna help out, I think, new players who are getting into the competitive scene, but also definitely high-end players. This is gonna be so good, you're probably gonna have this standardized on everyone's PCs. You're gonna click it, and they're gonna... S it's just gonna make it so much easier. I hate seeing a whole games of a Surin's, you can't even see what's going on. It's not even fun to watch, I will admit. It's it's really hard to watch a Surin's play. Not not all the time, it's just when everyone is a Surin's, because the spell effects are just so big. Anyway, so, uh, next up, what I would like to see in the game would be uh, some changes to some spell effects, uh, how circles are displayed. We already see that they have been updating the circles in the PvE environment with the Queen's Pavilion, which they just changed. They changed some circles because they're hard to see. I would like to see that Wildstar-esque uh, danger circles or um, signals, whatever you want to call them. I would like to see that in PvP as well, or some different changes in the menus, so that'd be cool. Um, but anyways, so, the PvP in this game, ha it seems like it's taking a more serious tonality. I mean, they're, they're having a 50k tournament real here soon in China. And uh, also, I'm personally getting really excited for it, so definitely look for more content from me about the PvP. I play Warrior, I'm level 80 and I'm level 22 in Ranked, so I'm having a lot of fun with it. Uh, I think I'll be doing some videos, some builds and everything like that. So, stay tuned for that. And uh, how, how are you excited for the PvP in this game? Or uh, what about the Living Story? Because the Living Story has been pretty freaking cool so far. What do you think about Guild Wars 2 right now? Let me know in the comments below. I'm Skelly Shore. I am having fun with this game. Please come and hang out with me. And I'll see you there.